But you did mention an important couple of words there. You Uh threw them in there, just tossing them away like you do. You mentioned monad. And this is a a classic sort of burrito-shaped question. How would you define a monad to a Swift developer, particularly one who's heard many academics attempt to explain it like burritos and really walked away clueless? So I think it was Chris Idoff who told me, uh, to understand monads, you have to give a talk on monads. (laughs) And then his second thing was, there is this divide. And at the point that you understand monads, you don't remember what it was not to understand monads, so you're not good at explaining it. But essentially, essentially, a functor, let's start with a functor, a functor is any type that supports map. So if you support map, you are a functor. And essentially, there's only a little lie in what I'm about to say, <laughs> essentially, any type that supports flat map is a monad. Now, it's flat map and the thing that embeds. So we some people call it pure. In combined, it's called just. Yep. It's the thing that takes a string and wraps it in an array of strings or a string and wraps it in an optional string. That's called just. So if you're a type that supports just or it's sometimes called pure or it's got a unit it's sometimes called if it supports that and flat map it's a monad and there's a very pretty picture that shows whenever you support uh, flat map and pure you automatically support map so every monad is a functor and now you don't have to take category theory <laughs> but would you say you know if, if, you, if folks want to get really serious about this kind of thing they might think well listen there are the, the three monadic laws, and they matter, but are they, are they important, do you think? Do you have to know them, or is it more about understanding the, the shape of what it's trying to do? So this, this goes back to an, another great talk I saw by uh, TJ, and, and TJ Yusin gave a talk about the double equals, and he said double equals is defined, but if you look at where double equals is defined for equatable, in comments it says... If you are doing equality, it's got to be anything is equal to itself. Mm. If A is equal to B, then B is equal to A, right? That's the reflexive. And uh, uh, and also, if A equals B and B equals C, A equals C, the transitive. But you can't enforce that in code. I can't make double equals do that. I'm just telling you that when you implement double equals, you should follow all that. And it's kind of that with the monadic laws. I can't make you create a flat map that that does the right thing, but it's sort of the contract that you should follow those laws. And so uh, we usually think in terms of diagrams, and and I don't have a whiteboard behind me, thank goodness. (laughs) Um, But for instance, in map, the idea is imagine that I have a function from string to int and another function from int to double. Now I have an array of strings. And so the idea is if I go from I lift this function up to go from array to array and this function up to go from array to array. It doesn't matter if I compose the two functions here and then lift it up to arrays or I go up here and I go across the composition of the mapped functions. That's one of the functor laws. Right. So the monadic laws are very similar. Yeah. So a nice easy one for you then. Mike Value asks, using that logic, is array a monad? Well, yes. There we go. But Boom. but it's it's... You got to be careful because um, such a math thing for me to say. You can say the positive integers are a group if you know what a group is in math, but that's not really correct. What's correct is to say the positive, or, or sorry, the integers with the plus operator is a group. You have to specify what the operator is and usually what the identity is. So to say array is a monad. Array as it's implemented in Swift is a monad because that array includes all the thing a monad needs. It has map, it has flat map, and they obey the laws. Mm. So shorthand, we say an array is a monad, but that's only because the Swift, the people that wrote the Swift standard library made it so. Right, exactly. And it's also therefore a functor. Yes. So Mike, you can now go to your next meetup and blow folks away saying, yeah, I think we, we need more monads here. I don't know what you mean in an array, really, but you, you can sound super smart at the same time. 